sort of various first responders. He's in Fort Myers at the airport now, and then he is going to head down on Marine One to Naples, Florida, which was admittedly harder hit than Fort Myers, but nowhere near the level of, say, Marco Island or down into the Florida Keys, where there was really sort of that absolute destruction. And as, as we've always heard during these presidential visits, there's a balance. Go to places where things are bad, but not where they're so bad that you impede the rescue effort that's going on. And, and in the background of this story as he does this, is we still have this developing story that's going on in Hollywood, Florida, where we had that uh, home for the elderly that they found dead bodies, and they still don't know that has turned into a criminal investigation. They still don't know exactly what happened there, but the death toll is up to eight in that situation. And obviously very scary um they have a criminal investigation going on and they're checking all the other uh, nursing homes in the area as well and he's aware of that situation and, and that's something that is so terrifying just the loss of life in the aftermath of the hurricane as people are struggling for supplies maybe using generators in ways um that are not safe and and not having whether it's air conditioning or water food that sort of thing so very well, that nursing situation. home had had some issues with the state uh, as well. Let's see if we can listen to the president.